Hi, I'm Dr. Malpani and one of the most distressing problems for infertility is the man with a zero sperm count, what's called azoospermia or the absence of sperm in the semen. And as you can imagine, this comes as a big blow to the man because these guys look absolutely fine, they have no problem with their sex at all, their semen looks fine, but when they get it tested in the laboratory, they find there are no sperms at all. Of course, it's a big blow to his ego, self-esteem. He says, God, I'm shooting blanks. I can't even get my wife pregnant. It's important that you don't lose heart. You don't lose hope. There is a solution to every problem. But first step is to find out, do you really have azoospermia or not? So don't go by just one report. Repeat it again. If it's confirmed, then you need to find out what the reason for the azoospermia is. Effectively, there could be only two problems. One is there's a problem with sperm production in the testis which means there's testicular failure, the testis does not produce sperm, which is why the sperm count is zero. Or the second group is what is called obstructive azoospermia or a block, which means the testis produce sperms, but they cannot come out because the passageway is blocked. Sometimes we can make this out on a clinical examination, but often we need to do a testicular biopsy, which is a very minor, small procedure where we remove a bit of tissue from the testis, send it to the laboratory for testing to find out are sperms being produced in the testis or not. If sperms are being produced, then we can use them for something called tisa ICSI, which is testicular sperm aspiration with ICSI, where we take out the sperm from the testes directly and use them to fertilize the wife's eggs in the IVF laboratory. On the other hand, if there's complete testicular failure, there is nothing we can do. So there's no point in wasting time and money on false hope. But even for men with azoospermia because of partial testicular failure, we can still find sperm sometimes in some of these men and use them for fertilizing their wife's sex. So the important thing is be well informed, don't waste time and money on the wrong treatment and go to an IVF specialist who can tell you exactly what's happening. Have questions? Feel free to ask me. I'm Dr. Malpani at www.drmalpani.com. Thanks.